As I look throughout the slate, obviously there's going to be some separation for some teams. At, at some point, you got to figure out who are going to be the contenders, obviously in the SEC, the Big Ten, and the Big 12. But right now, I, I want to focus on the Big Ten because we've seen Ohio State. They're idle this week. They don't play anyone. But you mentioned Penn State earlier. You've mentioned some of the other teams as well, uh, whether Michigan at the end of the year picks it up. But how do you see right now the, the Big Ten kind of playing out? Well, I think Penn State's certainly a, uh, in a position to show that they're going to have an opportunity to take on Ohio State and, and, and maybe be successful. The other team would be Wisconsin. Right. Wisconsin in five games has three shutouts. I don't care who you're playing. You shut people out, you're pretty <laughs> good on that side of the ball. And they also have the best running back in the country in Jonathan Taylor, who's having a monster season. So uh, if Wisconsin can continue to play, and they got a tough challenge this week against a really good run defense in, in Michigan State, but if Wisconsin holds serve this weekend and plays Sparty and, and beats them by a couple of touchdowns like Ohio State beat them a week ago, uh, then you're going to be sitting there going, wait a minute, Wisconsin at, at uh, the shoe here in a couple of weeks is going to be one of those games where we're going to be sitting there going, okay, winner is in. Uh, it's it's going to be a really fun game to watch, uh, but I, you, you can't say enough about what's going on in Camp Randall, given yeah. that uh, three shutouts and the offense is clicking with this Jack Cohn at quarterback and Jonathan Taylor doing the all-everything thing at uh, running back. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.